Hey everyone, and welcome back to another day in my life as a fully remote data scientist here in Sydney, Australia. Today is a cold, rainy, miserable Friday. I don't know if you can hear the winds, but it's going crazy out there. Cannot believe we are already midway through November. This entire year has flown by so quickly and we have what, less than 40 days until Christmas? Anyway, I thought that I would bring you along another work day in my life as I have wrapped up a couple of projects that I was doing before and I wanted to share with you what I'm working on now as I have another new project coming up. I am just about to start work for the day and I have sent up my morning text stand-up update to my team to let them know what I'm working on for the day. And I will be spending my next two to three hours just doing a bunch of research into this modeling technique called Triple M modeling or market mix modeling, which has been around since the 1960s and having a think about how I can apply that onto our company's data. I work at a growth marketing company here in Sydney, Australia, and we basically have a portfolio of clients who we run their marketing services for, and we help them visualize their data and pull their insights and really understand where all their marketing efforts are going. So this Triple M project is right up that alley. I'm currently in the exploratory research phase for what could be a new predictive feature for our app pending my research and what I get done. So yeah, right now I'm just absorbing a bunch of YouTube videos and Medium articles and going through a lot of professional code lab notebooks. Anyway, I will stop talking for now and get started with my workday and I'll most likely check in at around 11.30 for my first and only meeting of the day. Bye bye! From my viewers who want to know my workflow for translating a business problem into a SQL problem. So I thought that today would be the perfect time as I'm starting a new side quest that'll take me around a week. Now there is a report that my MD runs manually to reallocate advertising budgets based on actual sales outcomes, so I am building this process out so we can automate it instead. I am going through one of the example client decks and manually calculating the figures myself to ensure that I actually know how to get to his recommendation. I then jump into data group or any SQL editor and I query these data sets. Now this is my first time working with these tables as they were all newly migrated. So I'm doing some exploration and some sense checks to make sure the numbers align with what's actually within the Google ads platform. Once I'm confident, I work on the SQL query and this step is actually pretty intuitive once all the numbers have been checked because the column names are pretty straightforward. Anyway, that is all that I got up to in the morning and I'll continue in the afternoon. I've just wrapped up my meeting and I'm actually going to pop over to the gym for a very quick lunch session. Yes, you heard me right. I signed up for a gym membership. I've never had one in my life before. Um, I decided that this is going to be the year where I focus on my health and my fitness and I try to build more muscle because right now I can't even lift up a frying pan without hurting my arm. You might remember that last year I actually did three months worth of Pilates over the summer where I was paying $65 a week and I wanted to go as many times as I could just so I was maximizing the membership and because of that I didn't get enough rest or recovery. I also didn't eat the right foods nor was I getting enough protein and I ended up actually losing muscle after the three months which was a shame. Um, right now I track all my exercise using the Garmin Phoenix 6S which I've had over the past three years already. That is great for when I'm awake and tracking my running and my heart rate but I've also really wanted to see how my sleep quality was and how was my resting heart rate overnight and how much deep sleep I was getting every single day for recovery. Ultra Human reached out and kindly sent me one of their Ultra Human Ring Airs which is honestly the best thing that I've gotten all year. It is such a lightweight ring. I believe it's like two and a half grams and it tracks your sleep, your VO2 max, your exercise, your heart rate and everything. And they're still rolling out plenty of cool features with every new update. 
I wear this ring almost every single day and I even wear it in the shower sometimes. It is completely waterproof and I got it in the matte gray shade, I believe. I feel like it really matches everything and it's so comfortable, you don't even notice it's on. Um, so I really, really recommend this ring if you're looking for a Christmas gift for a friend or just wanna invest in your own health a little bit more. They are currently doing a massive 20% off for Black Friday and you can use my code Vivian20 to get your 20% off. I honestly love this ring so much that I even got one for my partner and now we compare our sleep score but yeah feel free to try it out and right now I'm gonna head to the gym so I will see you a bit later bye bye I am finalizing my SQL query now. It's quite simple, filtering for the right client and extracting a bunch of fields including cost, clicks and impression share for each campaign. I then repeat this process for a separate table and export both into Google Sheets so that I can do some VLOOKUPs and build out a prototype I can discuss with my team. As much as I would love to be doing fancy algorithms in Python every day, sometimes it's these simple tasks which can add so much business value super quickly. Hi Benny! Thank you.